Today is Sunday. Wala pasok. Ito ko na tatawa. and welcome to my blog. So, today is Sunday here in Vienna at nasa tapat ako ng Opera House which is located in Karlsberg. Ito ay one of the most famous opera houses in the world. At today is Sunday, yung mga shops ay sarado. So, at ako'y nagugutom. So, siguro ang pupuntahan ko na lang ay kainan. Kakain ako mga kaklasheng and Tara, samahan nyo ako kung saan ako makakarating. Let's go! Alam nyo mga kaklasheng, Vienna is divided into 23 districts, each with its own charm and flavor. We are here at the first district which is called Innenstadt or Innerstadt. This is the city center of Vienna and the most prestigious district. It is home to many of the city's most historical attractions and it is also the political, economic, and spiritual center of Vienna. I am now walking here at the Gertnerstrasse, which is the most famous pedestrian street of the city center. As you will notice, sarado ang mga shops. Why? It is Sunday. Because for the Austrians, Sunday are for family, Sundays are for culture, nature rest, Workers deserve their Sunday rest as well. Sunday is seen as a holiday by much of the population and the Austrian church for long has protected the day status as a rest day. And kasi, this is their way to preserve and treasure the Austrian quality of life. The regulations for opening hours are very strict dito. Shops are usually open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., Saturday until 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Some shopping centers are open until 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Shopping is only available on Sundays and holidays at the large railway stations, at the airport, and in the museum shops. And only restaurants and bakery businesses, gas stations, shops in transit operates during Sundays and public holidays. Actually mga kaklasheng, this is my favorite place to visit kasi aside from the beautiful architectures, andito rin yung mga famous restaurants and coffee houses and marami rin mga shops dito that you can choose from fast fashion to luxury brands. Pero most of the time, window shopping lang ako. Alam mo na, tingin-tingin lang pag may time. Charot! <laughs> so mga kaklasheng, I decided, actually we decided kasi may mga kasama ako mga fanget. Charot! <laughs> We will eat at Sura, isa siyang Korean restaurant, at magsasang pupsal kami. Tara, let's go inside! Say hello kay Golden Pusa. Char! So, ayan mga kaklasheng. Tingin-tingin tayo kung ano ang pwedeng ma-order. So, while waiting, tikman muna natin ang honey ginger lemonade. Few moments later. Wala pa rin, so sip muna ulit. A few inches later. Medyo matagal siya ha, nagugutom na ako. One eternity later. Finally, pinaprepare na siya. So, ayan na yung order. So, ayan na mga kaklasheng. Let's start the Korean barbecue grill. Actually, mga kaklasheng, gutom na gutom na gutom na ako. But, matagal siyang i-prepare. Kaya, tikman na lang muna natin itong tofu. Masarap siya actually. 
I don't know what it is called pero napakasarap niya guys. And of course, the yummy kimchi. And finally, luto na ang pork belly. Pwede nang lumafang. And the last to cook is the spicy chicken galbi. So let's eat mga kaklasheng. Matzaid! So after the main dish, we ordered mochi ice cream for dessert. It is a confection made from Japanese mochi or yung pounded sticker rice with an ice cream filling. The ice cream adds flavor and creaminess to the confection while the mochi adds sweetness and texture. First time kong makatikim nito pero it's very delicious. Wow. Uulitin ko to. We really enjoyed having dinner here with the option to have a grill in the middle of our table so we could cook meat and vegetables and we had a great laugh. The food was good and the staff are friendly. Medyo matagal lang ang serving and pagluluto but overall, it is a very good restaurant. Trivia lang no, the name Sura is inspired from the Korean word Surasang which refers to a meal served to a king during the Joseon dynasty, otherwise known as the royal meal. Sura offers a wide variety of dishes in its menu and diners can select between grilled meats, sashimi and even cooked seafood dishes. So ayan mga kaklasheng, pumasok kami ng maliwanag, lumabas kami ng madilim. You will hear in the background yung bell kasi magsisimula na yung mass sa St. Stephen's Cathedral at 7 o'clock. This is the view of the city center at night. Traveling through Vienna, you won't want to miss having a look at the legendary landmark. It is called Nails Tree Vienna or Stock im Eisen. It features the midsection of a tree trunk from the Middle Ages standing on a 1.5 meter high pedestal. There are hundreds of nails that have been pounded into the tree surface over the course of the generations. Ang history ng unique site na ito is that throughout the 18th century, traveling smiths and apprentices hammered nails into the tree for good luck. It is in the corner of the famous Palais Equitable, a beautiful building built at the end of the 19th century. So ayan mga kaklasheng, daan muna tayo ng Starbucks to fetch a cup of coffee. Relaxing for a while while sipping a cup of caramel macchiato because sometimes all you need is just a cup of coffee. Agree ba kayo mga kaklasheng? It's a little late at night so it's time to go home. It was a beautiful Sunday indeed. So ayan na nga mga kaklasheng. Thank you for watching and by the way, nandito ako sa harap ng Stephen's Dome which is one of the most beautiful churches in and kung bago kayo sa channel ko, please click subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest videos ko. So, until next time mga kaklasheng, I hope that you're going to support me all the way and watch all of my videos next time. So, always remember, life is good because God is me. So, see you again. Bye! Hello? <laughs> and I hope that you're going to watch. <laughs> so, ayan na nga mga kaklasya. <laughs>